Hey guys, today we're going to make Japanese shabu shabu hot pot. Shabu shabu means swish swish in English, which is exactly how you cook the meats in this Japanese styled hot pot meal. And the pot itself is already preloaded with all sorts of hot pot goodies for your eating delight. What we're going to do is start with the shabu shabu soup base, and it's going to be a chicken based broth. The broth base takes 15 minutes to prepare and 3 hours to cook on a low simmer. For this soup base, we'll need 2 whole fresh chicken bones, 1 whole fresh garlic, 1 whole fresh onion, 2 to 3 slices of fresh ginger, 3 bunches of fresh green onions, and 1 bunch of fresh leek. First, blanch your chicken bones in a separate pot of boiling water to remove unwanted fat, blood, bone bits, and insoluble protein. Boil on high heat for 5 minutes and then remove your bones from the water. The second step is to add all the ingredients for our shabu shabu soup base into our cooking pot. I've gone with my cast iron pot rather than the thermal pot this time so that I can control and watch the soup for the next 3 hours. The third step is to cut all your soup base ingredients into pretty large sizes so it's easier to strain out later. I put in the blanched chicken bones first into the middle of the pot and then layered everything else around it. Pour in 3 liters of cold water into the pot and we're ready to cook. What we're going to do now with the soup broth is put it on the stove for about a medium simmer for 3 hours. And what this will do is really allow all those flavors to come together and this will be the soup base for our shabu shabu. See you later! Now that our broth base has been cooking for about 3 hours, we're going to strain the soup so that we're only keeping the soup for our shabu shabu and not the ingredients. So what I'll do is extract all the goodies from this pot so that we don't want it and save only the broth. Now that we have our yummy soup base prepared, it's time to move on to part two of building the hot pot which we will serve for dinner. The design of the dish is to put whatever hot pot ingredients you want it for that amazing hot pot experience. My family loves Japanese food, so I've gone with a selection of leafy greens, a bunch of leek, a white radish, a large carrot, three types of different Japanese mushrooms, firm tofu, and cute Japanese fish cakes. Chop up the ingredients into bite-sized portions and layer your hot pot with the ingredients that take the longest to soften, such as the white radish and carrots at the very bottom. They'll be closest to the heat source and likely the last to be eaten, so plenty of time to become soft and yummy. Get creative with your plating as this is how it will be served. The portions I am putting in today serve a family of four with extra to spare. Don't forget, once you pair the shabu shabu hot pot with additional meats and noodles or rice, these are generous portions. When you're done arranging your hot pot ingredients, Pour in the strained chicken soup base, ensuring that everything is covered. Add in one large tablespoon of miso paste to top it off, and we're done building the hot pot. So what we'll do now is put our shabu shabu, prepared the way you like it, back on the stove for about 10 minutes, and boil, and then we can eat. I serve my hot pot on top of a portable gas cooker to keep it bubbling and have prepared a range of meats, seafood, noodles, leafy greens, and fish balls. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions or ideas, you can leave them in the comments below. For more recipes, you can visit us at thechinesesouplady.com. Thanks and see you soon.